Hey, what's up everybody? This is Matt Brunhofer from Film Fad, and this week, Emmy Award winning director James Sadwith's first feature film, Coming Through the Rye, opened in New York on Friday, October 14th, and will open in Los Angeles on Friday, October 21st. I got the chance to interview Sadwith himself, and I talked to him about how he got his start in the business and how he brought his true story about his journey to find J.D. Salinger to the big screen. So, um, you've been in the business for a while now, reaching heights many artists can only dream of reaching. Uh, how did you, an Emmy Award-winning director, get your start in the business? Um, well, <laughs> I used to be a veterinarian. Okay. Um, when I was growing up, I wanted to be a, uh, I wanted to go into show business. I wanted to be either a funny vet or a kind comedian. And, um... I uh, ended up going to vet school, and after a couple of years of being a full-time veterinarian on Martha's Vineyard, actually, um, I kind of decided I better better give show business a serious try um, before I get tied down in a career with a family. So I went to USC graduate school, uh, cinema and television, and uh, took a bunch of courses, and they said the fastest way to, to direct what I wanted to do is to write. So I started writing, and my first thing that I wrote got optioned uh, as uh, for a feature, and my second, uh, my thesis got made into a TV movie. Oh, nice! And that's how I got started. All right. So the uh, next question I have is uh, for coming through the rye. You're the film's director and writer. Uh, how did this project come to be and eventually get financed? Well, this is uh, based on my true story based on experiences I had when I was at, uh, in boarding school uh, in Connecticut. And people kept asking me all through my career, when are you going to tell the story about Salinger? And um, to me, it, uh, it was a feature film, but I really never had a ch- you know, I didn't have the time to mm-hmm. stop my work in television because projects were coming one after the other after the other and they're a great project and um, you just sort of go where the work is but finally uh, I decided I was going to take some serious time off to make a feature film and this seems like the most obvious because I knew it so well and seemed manageable for your first independent feature so I wrote the script and uh, having never made a feature uh, or uh, any film from scratch I've always been a hired gun, so I've never had to raise the money or put together the business for making a film. So I went online and learned how to, I just basically Googled how do you produce an independent film and got all sorts of great information and bought some books. And one of the things they said was you've got to form a, a limited partnership. That's one structure. Uh, and you got to form a business, you got to write a business plan. So I Googled how to do those and learned how to do those and basically uh, raised the money through friends and family and acquaintances and made the movie. Uh, Next question I have is, uh, do you believe it was important for the integrity of the story to have a young, talented, and relatively unknown cast instead of having a star-studded cast with more A-listers like Chris Cooper? Yeah, well, first of all, I was determined that the two leads are 16 years old. I was determined to get 16-year-olds. Basically, you're not really going to get a 16-year-old uh, with, you know, who's established. They're probably going to be relatively unknown. Get a complete casting call, and these two amazing uh, actors came uh, across my desk and uh, or into the office, and they were just ended up being unbelievable. They were just, and I mean, unbelievably good, not mm-hmm. unbelievable. They were, yeah. they were sensational, and uh, I couldn't have been happier. But in order to get financing, uh, to get you know, uh, attract distributors and, and theaters, you kind of do want a some sort of star uh, power, uh, if you can, and that sort of seemed like that would be perfect for the Salinger role. Mm-hmm. And we got Chris Cooper, who actually is an amazing actor. I certainly did just didn't go for the name. And I'd worked with him before, and I just loved working with him. I thought he was incredibly talented, and, uh, and he's our J.D. Salinger. 
My next question for you is, as a writer myself, I'm always finding pieces of myself within all of my fictional characters. Was that the case for you when you were writing J.D. Salinger, a real-life novelist? Well, no. Salinger was Salinger. I mean, it's, uh, the scenes between uh, Jamie and Salinger are at least 99% accurate as to what transpired between myself and Salinger. Okay. So, in that particular case, I was really trying to uh, recreate uh, as best I could uh, the man himself. All right. Excellent. Well, uh, the final question I have for you is, uh, are you any future projects you're excited about? Um, yeah, I've got a bunch on my shelf. Uh, when I started this, basically, I really started this in about 2012, 2013. Um, the whole TV landscape has changed since then, and there's a lot of uh, Netflix and Amazon, Hulu, mm-hmm. stars, content being generated, and uh, I think it'd be interesting to work in, in one of those venues. Uh, or if I, you know, if I get offered uh, another film, I'm all for that, too. Uh, right now, in the next few months, we're definitely uh, focused on getting this film into as many theaters as possible. Mm-hmm. Because we're distributing it independently, which means we've hired the booking agent, we've hired the PR firm, uh, we're not going through traditional distributors, and so we're trying to raise money through Indiegogo. We've got an Indiegogo campaign, and we're trying to raise money to fund that independent distribution of the film. So that's going to take up at least another three to four months. All right. Awesome. I will, I'll definitely put that in uh, in my post about the Indiegogo page. Uh, well, that's uh, pretty much all I have for you today, sir. Um, on behalf of Film Fat, I also appreciate you uh, taking the time out of your busy schedule to sit down and answer a few questions for us. My pleasure. All Thanks right. a lot. I enjoyed it. Once again, I want to send out a big thank you to Coming Through the Rye director James Sadwith for sitting down with us here at Film Fat and answering our questions. Make sure to go check out Coming Through the Rye, which stars Alex Wolf, Stephania Owen, Adrian Pastar, Academy Award winner Chris Cooper, and many, many more. It opened in New York on October 14th at Village East Cinema, and it will be coming to Los Angeles on October 21st at Lemley Monica, Lemley Town Center, and Lemley Playhouse. You can also check out my review of the movie at FilmFad.com. Thank you for listening to this interview today. This is Matt Brunhofer with FilmFad, and I will check you guys later.